angular displacement and angular velocity. Consider the particle P moving along the circular path at any two instants of time T1 and T2. Let the positions of the particles be theta1 and theta2 respectively as are seen in the figure. The angles theta1 and theta2 also give the position of radius vector at T1 and T2 respectively. Therefore, R is also called a position vector. Now, this particle undergone an angular displacement theta2 minus theta1. This is the angular displacement during the time interval. That is, the angle through which the radius vector rotates in a given time is called angular displacement. Here, the angular displacement is theta2 minus theta1. This is represented as delta theta and the time interval is delta t, t2 minus t1. Here, delta theta and delta t represents extremely small changes in theta and t respectively. And the angular displacement is measured in units of radians. And the angular velocity, this is denoted by omega. And the rate of change of angular displacement is defined as angular velocity. Angular velocity is given by angular displacement by time interval. That is omega equal to theta2 minus theta1 by t2 minus t1. Or this is equal to delta theta by delta t. Therefore, the instantaneous angular velocity omega is defined as the limit approached by the ratio in this equation as delta t approaches to 0. That is, instantaneous angular velocity omega, this is equal to limit delta t tends to 0, delta theta by delta t. This can be written as d theta by dt. The time period of a particle in a circular motion is defined as the time taken to complete one revolution. Suppose if the particle starts from this position, the time taken by the particle again to come to this position is nothing but the time period. When the particle completes one revolution, what is angular displacement? A set is 2 pi radians. Therefore, we can write angular velocity omega equal to 2 pi by t radians per second. One revolution is 2 pi radians or 360 degrees. Now we take one example. On this clock, one minute sand comes from 12 to 3. What is angular displacement? As it is pi by 2 radians. When it comes from 12 to 6, as it is pi radians. When it again comes to 12, this is 2 pi radians. The relation between angular displacement and linear displacement. This is given by linear displacement is r into theta, where r is the length of the radius or the length of the hand in this case, and theta is angular displacement. We take another example. If the length of minute hand is 10 cm, then what are angular displacement and linear displacement in an half an hour? The length of minute hand is given, that is 10 cm. For half an hour, how much angular displacement does it make? As it is pi radians. Now, linear displacement is r into theta, where r is the radius and theta is the angular displacement. And this is 10 into 10 power minus 2 into pi meter. Or this is 0.1 into 22 by 7 meter. This is angular displacement. We take another problem. What is the angular velocity of a second hand, minute hand, and hour hand in a clock? For second hand, how much time it takes to complete 2 pi radians? As it takes 60 seconds. That is, theta is 2 pi, t is 60. Angular velocity omega is 2 pi by 60. This is pi by 30 radians per second. For minute hand, minute hand take 1 hour to complete 2 pi radians. That is, theta is 2 pi. The time period is 1 hour, 60 into 60 seconds. The angular velocity omega is 2 pi by 60 into 60. This we get pi by 1800 radians per second. For our hand, how much time it takes to complete 2 pi radians as it takes 12 hours. In this case, theta is 2 pi radians and the time period is 12 hours that is 12 into 60 into 60. On substituting this, we get omega equal to 2 pi by t or this is 2 pi by 12 into 60 into 60 
radians per second. We go for another problem. An object is making 300 rotations per minute along a circular path. What is its angular velocity? In this problem, it is given the number of rotations is 300 per minute. How many rotations it make per second? 300 by 60, that is 5 rotations per second. And in this case, angular displacement is for 1 rotation 2 pi radians, for 5 rotations it is 5 into 2 pi radians. Angular velocity is theta by t, that is 5 into 2 pi by t, we get 10 pi radians per second. 